And right now, the future of the building where the E2 disaster happened is now up for debate. It happened February 17th, 2003. A stampede happened in the overcrowded nightclub when pepper spray was used to break up a fight. 21 people died and 50 others were injured. The developer who owns the building wants to tear it down, but the city of Chicago says not so fast. The historic building stands near 23rd in Michigan. Lexi Suter takes the story from there. It was an emotional discussion inside City Hall today about what to do with this building now vacant, but it was the former E2 nightclub. The emotional aspect, not from the city or the developer, but for the family members who lost loved ones in February of 2003. 2347 South Michigan Avenue has stood in South Loop since 1910. Originally a Fiat Auto showroom, the city says it's part of its historic motor row. But in recent history, it's a location of loss. About the building, I just feel like it should be torn down. Mary Carwell lost her daughter in the stampede that killed 21 people trying to exit the E2 nightclub. In 2021, a developer purchased the empty property and is now asking the city for a permit to demolish it. The Motor Road District preserves an era, the dawn of the American industry, American auto industry, and it's the largest intact collection of these dealerships in very close proximity. I feel like the city has pushed us against the wall and the only thing to do is to fight back. The city wants to keep its history intact. The developer wants to use the space to start anew. The families of those who lost loved ones inside say they just want to contribute to this conversation. Whatever happens, we want it to benefit the families. No decision was made today, but all of the information collected will be taken to the Landmark Commission's group. They will then put it up for a vote. Likely that vote will happen on November 7th. Lexi Suter, NBC5 News. Oh, thanks to Lexi.